So all of the words that we previously learned are still for fair game. So if we read something like a number, what do we write down? A variable. If we read um, is, what do we write down? Equals. If we read less than, what do we do? Less than is subtract and change the order. If we read um, increased by, what do we do? Add. What does product mean? Multiply. What does difference mean? Subtract. What does quotient mean? Division. What does sum mean? Addition. What does the quantity mean? It's on the front side of that paper. Oh, um, what does what mean? Some numbers, variables, and operations indicating that these items next to wait, need to be grouped together. Sometimes, oh, using parentheses. Right, we need to group them together, usually using parentheses. Now, we talked about that there were some situations where we didn't actually have to write the parentheses. Okay, but you can't really go wrong if you put the parentheses. So the quantity, we're grouping them together with parentheses. Okay, we are then adding to our list these four terms that we were just talking about in the POD where we should be noticing that every single one of these has is in front of it. So if we read the word less than, we are subtracting and changing the order. If we read the words is less than, that's our inequality symbol. Now, there's a couple on here. <coughs> so is less than, is fewer than, is smaller than, is tinier than, is more minuscule than, right? Just like we talked about with the word less than and subtract and subtraction, same thing. Okay, so these two are pretty straightforward ones, but there's a couple down here at the bottom we need to make sure we're okay with. Okay? is at most. My students tend to think that this one is up here backwards, but it is not. Okay, if you go to your parents and you say, um, I'm going to the movies with my friends tonight, they say, how much money do you need? And you say, at most, $20. Is it okay if they give you $19? Yes. Yes. Right, at most is less than or equal to. Okay, so same thing here. This one has more than, but it's no more than. So if it's not more than, right, we're flipping that sign. Yes? Is that, is it, is that like saying it's at like maximum, maximum $20? Mm -hmm. Okay, so same thing down here. It is at least, right? If this shirt costs at least $20, is $19 going to be enough? No, right? You need more than that. Okay? So if you know the terms from our equations unit, these should be the only ones we're adding, but I'm guessing for some unique ones, some of you might need to look at both as we sort of get it back in our head and we get back to all of our key terms. We said when we do these, right, a phrase at a time, don't try and look at the entire thing and just know magically. Right, one chunk at a time. So if we look at number one up here, a number increased by two is at most six. So here we go, a number. What are we writing down for a number? X. X or N or Q because you feel sad for it. Increased by, what do we do for increased by? Addition. Because we could find that on our old table, right? Two we're putting two. Okay, so when we see the word is, we're looking to see if it's is by itself, and it's an equal sign, or if it's is with stuff following it, which this one it is, is at most. So what is that going to tell us to do? Less than, or equal to. Less than or equal to? Do we solve as well? This one does not ask us to solve, so we're okay. Questions on that one? 
Blessed or equal to. Is at most is one of those backwards one, right? If something costs at most $20, yeah. it's going to be $20 or less. Okay. Right? It's, it seems backwards. Okay. Number two, the quotient. What does the quotient tell us to do? Division of a number. What are we going to do for a number? X. X. Do I want to put the X on the top or on the bottom? Top, right? Because quotient does not tell us to change any orders. Okay, so X on top. And negative 5 is at least greater than or equal to. Okay, so is has the at least with it. So if we look at our list, right, we look at our table, we find the word is at least, it tells us greater than or equal to negative 10. We okay there? You read number three and translate it. Okay, so three times the number looked great going around the room. We were all good with that. The only thing that I would say here is just don't put a multiplication symbol in between here. Right? It will confuse you if you are asked to solve it. Don't put a multiplication symbol if you don't need one. Okay, is more than, so is more than is the same thing as greater than. The difference. What does difference tell us to do? Is difference a reason to change the order? No. No. So we're doing subtraction, twice that number and three. So we're not changing the order. Twice that number tells us to keep the same number. Are we doing okay? Okay, flip your paper over, you do the next one. What does of a number tell us to do? Multiply. Multiply. So we're here. Two thirds y is less than or equal to negative 10. We okay on that one? Okay, so let's look at five together. Four more than a number. What am I doing for four more than a number? Four plus n, n plus four, right? Because the order of addition doesn't matter. Divided by three. What is getting divided by three here? The whole entire thing? No, 
just the, the number. Just the number, right? Because this doesn't tell us anything with the quantity. We don't see two operations sitting next to each other. So we have four more than a number divided by three. So, I mean, that's the idea, right? But you could have it flip-flopped. This tends to be how we start writing. They're like, oh, we have to put on that division? Yes. Why isn't it four plus N and everything over three? Because we would need to see the quantity or we would need to see two operations sitting next to each other. So here we have a number divided by three as opposed to the quantity of four more than a number divided by? Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Is at least, what are we doing for is at least? Greater than or equal to that number. Okay, number six is where we have to be really careful with our words is. Okay, so 40 less than. What does less than tell us to do? Subtract and change the order. So I'm putting minus 40. Are we agreeing that this is subtraction? Why is this subtraction? And not a symbol, an inequality symbol. There's no it's. Yes. Why are, you, why are you making the agreement? Well, because remember, less than tells us to subtract the order. So if we said 40 less than, we should go, oops, less than tells me to switch that order. Because then we'll put three times a number in front of it. Oh, because I, I put 40 minus 3. Right. But less than tells us to also switch the order. Yeah, because it's not saying that it's right. Less, Right. Less than and subtracted from tell us to switch the order. So whichever order we read it, we write it in reverse. Is no less than, what are we using for is no less than? Greater than or equal to the number increased by 16. 